guys how are you hope you are adapting coronavirus safety measures including social distancing avoiding populated and public areas using of ma masks so as these are very important measures to prevent corona infection stay home and stay safe uh, the topic of our, our today discussion is tibial nerve so what is the root value of the tibial nerve the tibial nerve has the root value of uh, ventral division of ventral rami of l4 to s3 segments of the spinal cord this is the root value of tibial nerve the tibial nerve is the nerve of the posterior compartment of the leg or flexor compartment of the leg this is the root value now talking about the course of the tibial nerve the tibial nerve begins at the superior angle of the diamond shaped popliteal fossa so this is the popliteal fossa as it is the content of the popliteal fossa it descends vertically downward and passing through the inferior angle of the popliteal fossa and it lies superficial to the popliteal vessels uh, this is the course of the tibial nerve in the popliteal fossa now the nerve enters in at in the back of the leg in the back of the leg it lies and uh, it lies between the tibialis posterior muscle tibialis posterior and uh, flexor digitorum longus muscle so this is the second landmark of the course of the tibial nerve the first one is the popliteal fossa and the second landmark is flexor digitorum longus and tibialis posterior it lies in between them when it descends downwards and uh, the third landmark is the flexor retinaculum that lies medially flexor retinaculum retinaculum it passes behind the flexor retinaculum and uh, in the flexor retinaculum it divides into two terminal branches that are known as medial and lateral plantar nerves medial and lateral plantar nerves so there are three important landmarks what is what is the popliteal fossa flexor digitorum longus and tibialis posterior at the back of leg and uh, as a terminal it has flexor retinaculum as uh, it divides in it into two terminal branches the medial and lateral plantar nerve so this is all about the course of the tibial nerve now we are going to talk about uh, the branches the muscular branches of the tibial nerve as we know it is the nerve of the posterior compartment or the flexor compartment of the leg so it supplies branches all the muscles all the muscles of posterior compartment this is these are the muscular branches muscular what are the cutaneous branches cutaneous branches is only one that is sural nerve and the terminal branches are the medial and later plantar nerves so at last we are going to talk about Uh, the clinical importance of the tibial nerve if the tibial nerve get paralyzed uh, there is a loss of 
muscular supply to the muscles of the posterior compartment or the flexor compartment of the leg so there is a loss of flexion at foot so this is all about the tibial nerve if you like my work please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you